guys welcome you on mongodb video series uh, in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a uh, create and drop a collection in mongodb yeah so first of all let's try to understand uh, the all the theoretical concept and finally we'll jump into the practical example yeah so first of all to create a collection right collection is nothing but the once you create the database then next step is to create the collection there you are going to insert right uh documents right uh, in the form of json all uh, right so second step is to create the collection to create the collection you need to use a method is called create collection right db it's first, first of all you need to select the db and uh, afterwards you need to issue command or uh, create not a command but method create collection and there you are going to specify the name of the collection that's the very first parameter that's mandatory and second parameter is completely optional right that's why i have written options right and that is used to create the collection so name is not the name of the collection which you want to create an option is the document that act as a configuration for the collection so option is nothing but the configurational stuff you are going to specify as a options in or uh, basically uh, options field right uh, this is called options so whether you specify or you don't doesn't matter right so what all things you can specify uh, uh, as a options so first thing you can specify as a capped or uh, either true or false right default is false so probably if you are going to specify explicitly then you will specify capped as true if you specify capped, capped as true that means it will enables the capped collection what is capped collection capped collection is a fixed size collection that automatically overrides its oldest entries when it reaches its maximum size so uh, in capped collection you are going to specify the maximum how many documents are going to store and if you are going to exceed if you are going to beyond up that then older value is going to override and that's the meaning of capped now second uh, basically option parameter you can specify auto index id and of course uh, you can specify value for this is true if you specify, specify is true then automatically creates index on the underscore id uh, column right so whenever you insert any document in the mongodb it creates one field is called underscore id and that's always unique one right and uh, whenever you specify the capped basically or uh, collection then you need to you need to specify uh, you must need to specify uh, size as well right so if you specify cap true and if you do not specify size then mongodb immediately will throw an error uh, will ask you hey you you have you are going to create a capped collection so you need to specify the size so size here uh, you need to specify in the bytes right uh, and then you specify the cap as true then you need to specify this field in the uh, bytes right so um, what would be the size of your collection that's uh, that's the size you need to specify in the byte and max attribute there you can specify uh, that's a kind of number size and uh, max both are numbers uh, max is nothing but the uh, maximum number of documents allowed in the capped collection that's the basically meaning of this so so th this is all about how to create a collection with options right now how to drop a collection so once you create the collection then you can do uh, db dot collection name and simply you need to call the drop method and it will drop the collection right and once collection is uh, basically dropped successfully then it will return true otherwise it will return false these things you have to keep in mind and last but not the least one of the tricky stuff i would like to basically mention over here in mongodb you don't need to create collection right mongodb creates a collection automatically when you uh, insert one one or many documents so here you can see here db is another selected database that in my db and kk java tutorials so let's say this collection doesn't exist at all and i'm trying to insert one document so it will what mongodb will, will do kk java tutorials document uh, sorry the collection will be caught or automatically created so let's try to understand these things through an example right then only makes sense right so here i'm going to open mongodb cell and let's start with each and everything so here first of all i'm going to do dbs right so it will list out all the existing databases databases right so let's create a one fresh database right so i would say huge and let's say my db let's say my db so it will create a my database and it will switch as well right now very first thing i'm going to create a collection in this database right so 
until unless you do not insert a document or you do not create a basically a collection a newly created database will not be listed uh, in uh, whenever you uh, to show dbs right let's say i'm going to say so dbs See here you can see uh, newly created my db is not listed over here once you create a collection or once you insert one basically document right then it will uh, show you in do, uh, show dbs show dbs right so here i'm going to create one collection so to create a collection what exactly you need to do create db dot already we have discussed create collection right create collection and here you can give the collection name so i'm going to give the collection name my collection underscore one so here of course you can specify some optional so those things we'll see in the uh, next uh, next uh, uh, so after this so here just you need to give the collection name optional you can completely skip and once it press enter then here is it is returning okay as one that means so uh, collection is uh, basically created right uh, in my db now if you do show dbs then your collection would be listed over here right now you can also what you can do so uh, if you directly insert one document in the your uh, collection right so th then also uh, your db will be listed that we will see in the last so now let me clear this screen so we saw how to create a collection without any option value right let's say i want to create one more collection uh, let's say i would say collection underscore two and here i want to specify option elements right so of course option element you have to give the curly bracket open and close and here uh, what all attributes we can specify first of all we discuss capped so i'm going to create a capped uh, basically collection and you need to specify value as true right so i want the capped collection so uh, already we discussed what is gap collection then second thing you can specify the size when you when you are going to basically create a gap collection then you need to specify size otherwise mongodb will throw an exception you can try yourself right so here i am going to specify size, size always in the bytes right now next thing what we can do auto index id we can give the true a u t auto index id right and these are all all case sensitive so you have to write in this way so so it will create an indexing on at the rate uh, id column right and finally i'm going to specify the max size how many basically document you want in this collection so let's say i am going to specify 10000 right documents and just press enter so it is returning some error so it is expecting one comma so there is a typo i forgot to specify now uh, comma so let's uh, put this comma over here and once it press enter then here you can see collection is created successfully yeah so let me clear the terminal now let's say whatever collection you have created so far you want to see the details of those collections so for that just you need to issue, issue db dot get collection methods are completely case sensitive in forge So it will list out uh, details of all the collections within this DB. So, so far we have created two collections, right? Collection one and connection two. And connection collection two, we had a specify these options values. So it is clearly listing out over here. So that's how you can see the details of all the configurational details of collection, right? Now let's, let me clear the terminal. Now uh, let's try to understand how to drop the collection, right? so and, and to see all the uh, basically collection not the details but list if you want to list uh, list out all the collection present in the my db then simply you have to do show collections so collections will list out all the uh, basically present uh, collection in within the, this db now how to drop a collection so to drop a collections already we discussed so simply what you have to do db then collection name so probably let, let me I'll delete the my collection one my collection sorry it is my collection right so let me do my collection underscore one dot simply you have to call the drop method pretty simple right and if you press enter it is returning false that means this collection is not deleted All right so let's see what is happened okay so i have here there is a typo this is my collection.
top draw so if collection is not there itself then it will not delete so in this case it is returning true that means collection is deleted successfully when you do show collections then collection one should not be there right so collection one is deleted so let me clear the time now last but not, not the least so here uh, if you look at this if i do show collections then only one collection my collection underscore two is there now let's say in one shot what you can do you can insert one document at the same time collection will be created automatically if that collection is not there so let's say i'm doing db dot kk java tutorials so you know kk java tutorials is that is the collection name i'm giving so here db is nothing but the my db and kk java tutorials is the basically a collection name so this collection doesn't exist at all right and i'm trying to insert one document right uh, in so what will happen in this case in this case kk java tutorial collection is going to create and that is going to is and uh, also it is going to insert what document in this uh, collection so let's say so i'm going to give the document name and let's say name is kk that's it one attribute i'm going to so if i press enter then here you can see so acknowledged true insert id it is going to return right that means insert happens successfully and if i do show collections then it will show you two collections one is uh my collection underscore two and second is the kk java tutorials and here is the case so in this step when i issue this command then it will check okay in current db if kk java tutorials collection is not there then create it and insert this document right so guys in this video tutorial i have shown you how to create and drop collection and few of the more tips you, you have seen right uh, so if collection is not there and if you try to insert then collection will be created automatically so guys thank you so much for watching this video and see you there in the next, next video tutorial